What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, we're discussing about Root Height Bootstrap, which has received a massive update fixing a lot of stuff. So if you're using the Root Height Bootstrap or you're planning to do so, definitely a great version to be on. This video is brought to you by AKSec. They provide security training for those of you who are interested in learning how iOS security works. If you want to build your own jailbreak or, you know, just hack iOS in general, find vulnerabilities in iOS devices, they do have the offensive iOS internals course, which is actually quite great. So the root height bootstrap 1.3.2 is here. The major change is that it fixes app extensions not working on 1.3.1, but the actual version you're looking for is the 1.3.1 change log. So if you go here on the uh, bootstrap repo, it's completely open source. Just a quick introduction for those of you who are unaware, the root height bootstrap allows you to run real jailbreak tweaks, you know, debs, onto your device running iOS 15.0 up to 17.0 on all devices including A17, M1, M2, and you know, everything. So uh, this is largely replaced by now on iOS 16 by Nathan Laird jailbreak, which is a similar thing. However, on iOS 17.0, it still remains the viable choice because there's no jailbreak for iOS 17.0, especially on the newer devices. And this one replaces such a thing. Now this does run real tweaks, as I said, and it comes with Zebra and Cilio. So it's kind of like a semi jailbreak if you want to, maybe a little bit more limited, but it still gives you tweaks in apps. And if you go here on the releases, yesterday you can see 1.3.2, which fixes the app plugins not working. But then two days ago, 1.3.1, which has a huge change log over here and updates to built-in Cilio, with trap files to UI cache, fixed an issue where fast path sign might not handle some Mac OS signatures, fixed an issue where update links error might occur in a reboot trap, fixed an issue where multi GB root error might occur on a reboot trap, fixed an issue with some packages could not be installed or uninstalled correctly, fixed an issue where the app installed via DPKG were not signed correctly. There are a lot of things fixed over here, including this massive thing, fixed an issue that may cause abnormal battery consumption and device overheating. So these are changes that are quite important and they are built in, in the 1.3.2 as well. As you can see, they are part of this change log as well. So go ahead, get the latest bootstrap.tipa file. You can get it from here on the assets. It's also available here in this article on how to jailbreak iOS 16.6.1 up to 17.0, although I would use Bootstrap only for 17.0 by now. This article contains the full guide on how to use this and how to get it. And here you can get the latest version. There is a button over here and it's actually quite easy to use. And as I said, it does come with Cilio and with Zebra for package manager. You can actually get root height bootstrap to run normal rootless tweaks that have not been updated for root height. To do that, you have to install a root height patcher, which will convert those tweaks for you. So I have a full guide here on iDeviceCentral.com and with this, you can convert almost any rootless tweak to work with the ARM64E, which is the architecture for root height bootstrap, giving you even more tweaks to run inside your apps. So yeah, that's basically it, a massive update. Go ahead, get it if you're using the bootstrap. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.